Lawyers for six men who allege they were victims of child sexual abuse in Scottish football have announced they're to begin legal action against the sport's national governing body. Thompson solicitors have written to the Scottish Football Association today, launching a civil compensation claim. It comes after a major review found failings in child protection in the sport. Chris Clements has this report. Four days since that damning report, four days since the investigators described child protection in Scottish football as not fit for purpose. The SFA are now facing a legal challenge as lawyers start the compensation fight for survivors. What the SFA now must do is take responsibility for their failures, their complete and utter absolute failings that was laid bare in the report, and they must pay the compensation to which the survivors of historic abuse that suffered abuse because of, among other things, their failings uh, experienced. It's now about action. It's now about paying compensation. It was described as a macho culture dominated by men and blazers. The SFA's own review last week highlighted the urgent need for change to protect children from predators lurking in the sport. But it's already too late for some. One of those taking action against the SFA is John Cleland. He told us last week about the devastating impact abuse had on his life. Well aware that this will carry with me for the rest of my life. Anybody could turn up at a football training session and say that they would like to contribute to football coaching but I would hope to think that there's steps in place where this cannot happen again. Victim support groups are hopeful of the outcome. There were some guys who felt that they had a future career in football and that was destroyed basically by the abuse that they experienced. There's a combination between severe anger I would say. A lot of survivors still feel really really angry that it's great that the reports come out and it's shown what the feelings were, but they knew about these feelings years ago. They tried to report it and they tried to make people be aware of what had happened and nobody listened. So there's an element of anger, but the other side is they're delighted that it means that hopefully people will now sit up and take notice. When we contacted the SFA today, they referred us back to the comments they made last week on the interim report into abuse in Scottish football. Now, there are only six people involved in this case, but if it's successful, survivor groups say that it could be the tip of a very large iceberg. Chris Clements, STV News, Hamden. Many of Scotland's local authorities say they can't afford a key government...